Hey YouTube, RP Mato here. Uh, got a little quick video for you on the SOG Flash 2. It is a assisted opener. There's a lot of reviews out on it. I just wanted to give you my opinion on it. Um, I got this a week or so ago. It's got the G10 handle, the OS8 steel, the bayonet uh, reversible uh, tip up clip the arc lock system um, you know I watched a couple reviews uh, it's also got the auto safety or not the auto safety but the manual safety switch on it uh, which locks it in the closed position um, you know it has a little bit of maybe it's just this knife but it has a little bit of play in the blade the arc lock is loose it kind of rattles um, some of the reviews that I saw on this knife you know, they, they said it was a good knife, and it's not that bad. Um, I'm just not that impressed with it, you know. Uh, I didn't pay a lot for it. It was on sale for, I think, $30. Uh, might have been 20 bucks. I don't remember. Uh, anyway, you know, with all the... Uh, you know, I know SOG makes good quality uh, knives. But maybe it's just the price I pay for this, maybe it's just the knife itself, or maybe it's just the line of knives. It just feels cheap to me. The, uh, you know, it's pretty lightweight. Uh, maybe that's why it feels cheap to me, I don't know. The arc lock system I'm not that impressed with. Like I said, this is uh, loose and it doesn't automatically, uh, when it's deployed, say it's in that position and I deploy it, this doesn't jump all the way forward like I thought it should. Um, so, anyway, I uh, just wanted to do a little uh, op opinion video on the SOG Flash 2. If you're uh, looking at this knife to buy, um, you know, the jimping's cheap and the handle, there's, the, the jimping is definitely cheap along the top. There's a seam, it's a two-piece. Um, there's screws on one side which to, and no screws on the other which tells me that the screws are just threaded into the the G10 plastic on the other side um, you know it's not a through through pin it's not even through pinned um, the tension is adjustable um, but you know maybe check it out before you buy it don't uh, see if you can get one out of the blister pack or the box and, and check it out for yourself before you purchase this knife it, it is a deep carry, which I was looking for. Um, it's just not what I thought it was. So anyway, that, and that is just my opinion. Um, just wanted to share that with you, uh, with the viewers, that uh, maybe this isn't uh, worth the purchase. You know, if, if you're paying a good price for it, paying 40 bucks, 50 bucks for it, in my opinion, it's not worth that much. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see.